what's cooking good looking <laughs> welcome back to my channel my name is Sharia Brooks and I'm back with another video today we are meal prepping for you guys yes meal prepping and I got the what's cooking good looking for my grandpa love that man so this series is dedicated to him back to my channel my name is Sharia Brooks I'm back with another video if you guys are new here I'm a mama of two um, on this channel you'll find a lot of vlogs family life business tips lifestyle the whole night so as most of you guys know I've been on a weight loss journey slash getting healthy slash body goals a slash swim thick whatever you guys want to call it but yeah I've been on that journey for the last I want to say six weeks. Um, I'm going into my sixth week and as most of you guys know, I have lost some weight by now. A week ago was nine pounds and I have incorporated so many new things into my diet as well as exercise. So if you guys follow me on Instagram or Snapchat or both, you guys will know that I am now working out um, every single day. Um, a couple weeks ago, I worked out for about two and a half weeks straight. I got sick, and I want to say it's a summer cold because every year I get a summer cold. It starts with my congestion, I can't breathe, and then I get a cold, and it's just all bad. Um, so please send positive vibes my way. Yeah, I will be meal prepping for you guys today. Um, I've always wanted to meal prep and do these type of like healthy videos but you can't preach something that you're not practicing. You know that good old saying, practice what you preach. Yes, I'm all big for that and um, it, it starts from the inside out. So a lot of people will ask me like, well, what are you doing? And you know, I'm sick of, I'm tired, I'm ready to lose weight, blah, blah, blah. Your mind has to be ready first. So if your mind is not ready to, to really commit and to stay focused, then you're not gonna be successful with it. And I've noticed that in my past um, quite often, like I I keep wanting to lose weight. I wanna do it, I wanna do it, I wanna do it. I'm trying keto, I'm trying intermittent fasting, I'm trying, you know, everything underneath the sun to lose weight, but it's really 80% diet, 20% exercise. And once I finally realized that, I was like, okay, I gotta change my diet, I gotta cut a lot of things out, and really take this seriously because looking in the mirror and not feeling confident is something that I've struggled with pretty much my whole life and I'm almost 30 I'll be 28 next month where my Virgos at where my September babies and my late August babies um, comment down below if you are a Virgo and if your birthday's coming up happy birthday to you Virgos um, but yeah so I knew I had to make a change and I'm so happy I did that. It was literally the best decision I've ever made. And um, I started this 30 Day Selfie Living program. So I signed up underneath my boyfriend's sister, Jamie. Shout out to Jamie if you're watching this. Um, I signed up underneath her because she was telling me that their mom has lost, what, 10 pounds in a couple weeks. And I was just like, really? No way. So. She has lost weight. I've seen her recently. She looks great. Shout out to you, Vicky, if you're watching this. You look amazing. Um, your journey really inspired me. So thank you for sharing, you know, your body goals. But anyways, so what I do in the morning, every single day, I will go to the gym. If you guys want to see my day-to-day -day routine, that is coming up soon. I've already started filming it for you guys. Um, so I'm gonna just try and jump into this video and you guys will see more of my healthy lifestyle because when you want to lose weight, and yeah, me starting the 30 Days of Healthy Living Challenge, it really made me re, like, reprocess and rethink on about everything, like everything I eat, everything I do, and it's it's a lifestyle for me now, and it's the best thing I've ever done. If you guys want to sign up for your 30 Days to Living Healthy, 30 Days to Healthy Living program? Shoot me a comment down below or reach out to me on Instagram. I'll be more than happy to get you guys started. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into meal prepping. So today, I will be meal prepping salmon 
and I will also be meal prepping chicken because I mean I can really eat salmon pretty much almost every day but let's get let's be honest if we're eating the same thing every day it can become very boring you're uninspired and you're not motivated to eat what you've prepped been there done that and that's why i'm sharing this information okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get this water bottle out of my sink and i'm gonna go ahead and wash this salmon look at that so before you guys start changing your lifestyle and really, um, you know, want to commit to this, disclaimer, I am not a physician. I am not a health expert. I am not a doctor. I have no professional knowledge of anything I'm sharing with you guys right now. It's just what's been working out for me. So just keep that in mind, stuff that works for me and um, my body may not work for you. It may not work without consistency as well. Consistency is key with everything and that's actually on my vision board upstairs. Another disclaimer. <laughs> there might, there may be a ton of disclaimers in this video. I'm not a chef, okay? I am not, I didn't go to culinary school. I don't know the basics. I just know it works for me and my household, what I do on a daily basis and what I like, what tastes good. So on and so forth so you can totally skip these steps again I didn't go to culinary school so if I'm cutting this salmon a little funky don't come for me um, I've just been doing it like this for years and you know old habits die hard and I don't know the proper way to do it so let's just go ahead and get into it you guys I'm so addicted to smoothies especially this smoothie combo amazing okay so like I said, we are going to be meal prepping today. We're going to be meal prepping salmon and chicken. And the sides that we're going to be doing, I have gotten this rice, the veggies, cauliflower, risotto, melody, medley. Um, so that's what this looks like. And we'll be meal prepping some broccoli and some asparagus. So the asparagus is going to go with the salmon, the broccoli is going to go with the chicken, and the rice is going to go for both. This is quite a piece of salmon. <laughs> so I am going to start by cutting it in half to make this easy for myself, and then we'll work from there. And Atlantic salmon is my favorite salmon, you guys. I don't know why. I don't like really know the difference between the two, but for some reason, the Atlantic salmon is just very fatty, like you get those omegas in there. Um, I don't know, it just holds the flavor really nicely. It's it's juicy, it's not dry, depending on how you cook it. Um, but I, I absolutely love Atlantic salmon. And something I've been trying to incorporate in my household while I'm cooking is to clean as I go. Because sometimes if I'm like in a mood, I will just start cooking my heart out and just zoning in on the food to take my mind off of other things and my, when I look up and come to realization, back, back to life, back to reality, my kitchen is a hot ass mess. So I like to try and pick up as I go. So once I'm done, the cleaning, the cleanup is effortless. Also, I cleaned my kitchen right before I started filming, filming this video and I don't want all that hard work to go to waste. So we're gonna go ahead and toss this. And the other half of the salmon that I will not be using is going to go in the freezer. I hate, like honestly, I hate freezing my salmon because once you have frozen meat, it does not taste the same as fresh meat. So that's the only downside when it comes to um, cooking and getting everything prepared um, and saving your food. If you guys have a better way on how I should be storing the salmon for next week, please do let me know. So once I joined the 30 Days to Healthy Living program, I know I keep talking about this, but it's super relevant in my life. I, I'm literally on it at the moment. Join a group of women on Facebook and um, a lot of the women have like recipes and there's like a guide, like foods to avoid, what to avoid. And if you can cook with oils more, like olive oil, I would highly recommend it over butter. Um, 
<laughs> listen, I grew up with the buttery, the buttery, the savory, the flavors, okay? So it's in my blood, it's in my DNA. <laughs> um, so I have to kind of revisit that and switch some things out because yes, if you're eating grass-fed butter, organic butter, it's great. But if you're not eating grass-fed organic, so on and so forth, then you should be using olive oil and stuff that you can cook with olive oil um, substituted for. So as you guys can see, I just drizzled my salmon with some olive oil and I am the type of person that I don't like that taste of olive oil. Um, and when I do that, when I drizzle it and bake it, you don't taste the olive oil. It's just nice and juicy, which I really could appreciate. So now we're gonna get our seasoning. I should have been prepared, but I'm working with minimal space. So I'm adding and subtracting as I go. Like I said, flavors are in my DNA, so I cannot help but to have a ton of seasoning that I'm cooking with. But here is the key. Instead of using a lot of seasoning salts and salts, use powders. And if you're gonna use a salt, try and use Himalayan salt. It's good for your digestion. Okay, so my favorite powders to use when doing salmon, I like to use garlic powder. I like to use onion powder. These are my favorite seasonings of all time. I can pretty much put garlic powder and onion powder on everything, so I absolutely love that. Um, and I just put enough until my senses, until my, my, uh, my senses are satisfied. Um, I like to eyeball everything. That's how I grew up cooking. Unless I don't know recipes and I'm strict to the recipe. Like I'm looking at half cup of this, third, fourth, blah, blah, blah cups. But if I've been doing it for some time, I just like to eyeball it and go from there. Okay, so I just seasoned with my garlic and onion powder. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get some black pepper. And I'm gonna take some tomat, tomato bouillon with chicken flavor. I know it sounds a little crazy, but it's so good on pretty much everything, especially salmon and fish. So this is gonna be my salt substitute. And it also has other flavors in there as well. So I like that it's pretty much an all-in-one. One last drizzle of olive oil. Get uncovered on 425 for 20 minutes. Okay, Google, set the timer for 20 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes, starting now. Okay, so now that's in the oven, we're gonna start prepping the chicken, and then once all the meats are out the way, then we're gonna work on the sides. Okay, so the chicken breasts I picked up were already cut and thinly sliced, which is perfect because it saves me time, so I don't have to cut it in half myself. It's already thinly sliced, which is perfect. So we're gonna do two chicken breasts. And with chicken, you don't have to wash it off. I'm just paranoid, so I have to wash it off just for my mental. And with chicken, you have to be very careful because you don't wanna cross contaminate and touch all of these different seasonings with like chicken fingers. So you will see me washing my hands a lot. Okay, so for the chicken, we are gonna be using this blackened Saskatchewan rub. And this is the Traeger brand. We had actually got this when we got our Traeger grill. Um, and it's the garlic flavor. Um, this is amazing, you guys. It's, it tastes so good. And if I was comfortable grilling the chicken, I would definitely put it on the grill. But I'm not there yet. So this is where we're at. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put some olive oil. And then my seasoning. And I'm gonna flip my chicken and do the same thing on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this and let it kind of soak and saturate until the 20 minutes is up on that. Okay, so now that I'm done prepping my chicken that is sitting in the background, just marinating, I'm gonna start cleaning up my mess because we are moving on to sides, veggies, and our cauliflower rice. So 
I cannot wait to make that. I'm so excited for it. Um, I'm starting to grow to love cauliflower rice. It's an it's an amazing alternative for um, regular rice. Even brown rice has a ton of carbs in it. Um, so if you can swap out your rice, definitely try a brown rice or a cauliflower rice. Okay, so now we're back. We have some asparagus here on the cooking, like on the cutting board. I always want to say cooking board on the cutting board. On the cutting board, and if you guys are using beans or any type of canned vegetable, um, I know a lot of meal preps consist of like black beans or something like that. So if you are using any type of cans, definitely pick up this device, you guys. This is the Kitchen Mama can opener, you guys, and it's amazing. It's amazing, it's kid safe. My kids can definitely use this, and I'm so in love with this product. And this is also perfect for, perfect for camping, so if you guys are going camping and you need a can opener, definitely consider picking up this Kitchen Mama can opener. This part of the video is in collaboration with them, so thank you guys so much for sending me this tool. I absolutely love it. Whole family loves it, okay? It's seamless. It takes off the tops of your can, it opens the can, it's messless, I love it, and I just put it right in my drawer when I'm not using it, and I take it out when I am using it. And it is battery operated, so it does consist of four AA batteries, so go ahead and click the link in the description box if you're looking for an amazing additive to your kitchen devices, I would highly recommend this one. Okay guys, so I already have my water on the boil, I put in some Himalayan salt, it's boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my broccoli and steam it. I've already cut and cleaned my broccoli. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the steamer. Okay, so I went ahead and put my broccoli in the steamer. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it. My salmon timer just went off, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the salmon out, cover up the broccoli, start on my asparagus, and then my cauliflower rice. Okay, I got my mitts out and the salmon smells and it looks ready so we're gonna go ahead and take that baby out muddy growing up I used to hate asparagus believe it or not um, I don't know what was I think it was just too soggy for me how it was being cooked so now I like my asparagus I still like it really soft but I want to keep the nutrients in there as well. I know I probably should be steaming this too, but since the steamer is in use, I am going to just kind of grill them until they get a little brown. The house is smelling so good, you guys. Oh my gosh, the aroma in this house it smells amazing. So the olive oil in the pan is, are, I'm sure, pretty hot at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and add some Mrs. Dash. This is a table blend and how I pick my seasoning, I smell them, and if I can smell it, I can visualize myself tasting it with that vegetable or on whatever. So that's how I pretty much choose what uh, seasonings I'll be cooking with on what. Um, I don't know, like I said, I just eyeball it, and I just feel like it's in my blood, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I used the Mrs. Dash Salt Free table blend and this has a ton of different flavors and seasonings in it um, now I'm going to just go on top with a little garlic powder a little bit of pepper because I like chunky pepper um, so this is the pepper grinder I love to use I like my pepper a little coarse especially on my veggies it's a little extra and just for a little flavor, I'm gonna just use a little pink Himalayan salt. Okay, now this is gonna go in the pan. Okay, so this wouldn't be a cooking video if I didn't incorporate some of my family values in there. So. My dad, growing up, he was the main cook of the house. He would do like most of the gourmet meals. My mom, she would do like the everyday after school meals and stuff like that. But they both are really good cooks. And um, you know, my dad, he would always tell me, 
He would call us girls in the kitchen. There was three girls and he would call us, I'm the youngest girl by the way. He would call us in the kitchen and be like, you know, you guys need to learn how to cook because you know, the only way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And by hearing that, it kind of clicked to me. And um, I always just kept that in mind, you know what I'm saying? As I became an adult and got my own place and you know, started experimenting with foods and stuff like that, um, that saying he said was so true. So I always just kept that in mind. And I'm a really like, I'm a hard cook on myself. I'm a Virgo, so I'm hard on myself anyway. But especially when it comes to cooking in the kitchen and especially if I'm cooking for someone else, so I know my kids, you know, their taste buds are still growing, so they're still being a little picky on what they would eat and what they won't eat. But as for, you know, my boyfriend, he really loves my cooking and he is a tough critic, okay? He's a tourist, straight shot, no shooter. He is a tourist, so he is very um, direct. And whenever I'm cooking, I'm always thinking like, oh, he better like this. Grateful he does love my cooking, so I scored with that one. Um, but also, it's it's great for therapy. It's it's good for your your mental. It's good to just like unwind and just let it all loose in the kitchen. Um, and something I learned from my mom. My mom would always I call her up frequently, and I'm always asking her for recipes. I'm always asking her, you know, what do I do here or what should I put here? Um, and she is like so creative with her cooking. The sauces, the seasonings, the additives that she puts. You would never even know she uses all these different ingredients, but she does. And she also taught me to cook with powders other than salts. So it's just nice to have like these values that your parents teach you and just to like incorporate them in your adult life. That's something I'm definitely gonna be doing with my kids. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the cauliflower rice. Definitely gotta season the cauliflower rice because it is for an acquired taste. You have to kind of get used to it. Well, that was for me um, because I'm used to like regular long grain with white rice. Um, but now on this lifestyle, ooh, I was gonna say diet, y'all. Now on this lifestyle, um, I absolutely love cauliflower rice and it's just like, you know, changing it up, changing the game. Oh my gosh, can you guys like see that flex? Like, mm. Mm, I don't even know how they do it. We're going to add a little, um, I'm gonna add just a smidge of butter. It needs it, okay, it needs it. I'm gonna add a smidge of butter and I'm gonna just do my seasonings like I did before. So you guys can watch me do that too. Add a little bit of butter and this is about mm, a tablespoon I'd say. Okay, so like I was saying, I grew up with eating food saturated in butter, cooked in butter. Hey, butter is a flavor, honey. And if you're gonna cook with butter, do yourself a favor. Well, but to each his own, but I like to cook with salted butter only because it brings more flavor and that's less salt I have to use in my food. So that's a little tip too. You guys wanna kinda avoid using so much salt, but you're like, oh, the butter, or the salt. Just get the salted butter. <laughs> Um, so I just put a little butter in there and this is the first thing I'm using with butter you guys like everything else I haven't cooked with butter besides the cauliflower rice because it needs it but besides that I haven't used butter and it's just like swapping things out and changing like what you're used to and having like healthier options okay Got a cool little mixture in there. We got a little, some um, asparagus and some, what is this? Mushrooms? Something. That sizzle, you guys hear that sizzle? I just love that cooking sizzle. Okay, so the chicken is done. We're gonna go ahead and take that out. Test the temperature if you're not comfortable. Just winging it. Test the temperature to make sure it's at 165 degrees Fahrenheit and that's how you know it's good to go. And always stick the thermometer in the thickest piece of the meat. I didn't do my my fish because I cook salmon on a frequent basis so I can just eyeball it and know it's done. Chicken, not so much. So we're gonna do the chicken. A 
Okay guys, so everything is done and the food has cooled off. So now I can go ahead and put it in my meal prepping containers. I picked these up from a local grocery store and I got a pack of 10 for about six bucks. So if you guys want some type of meal prepping containers, I will go ahead and leave them in the description box below if I can find some for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with place, putting my food in the containers and we are all done. Okay guys, I'm all done here. Thank you guys so much for joining me on today's video. What do you guys meal prep from home when you guys are trying to lose some weight and what is just easy for you guys? What are you guys loving to meal prep these days? If you guys can go ahead and leave me a comment down below, that would be great. If you're not subscribed already, please do make sure that you are subscribed. Turn on your notification bells and hit the like button. And please show my channel some support. That will mean so much to me. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm your girl, Sharia Brooks, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.